Hello everybody and welcome back to Squid Kitty. Today I've got a super duper recipe for everybody. And if you can learn this one, you'll surprise everybody you know, okay? So, I'll show you first the ingredient, ingredient. Most you're going to need these potatoes. Some puree, like pulp, crushed tomatoes. One eggplant, the lungs. Some grounded beef, or pork, or chicken, whatever you want, okay? Doesn't matter, but today it's beef, okay? Some garlic, onion, grounded pepper. We like that, don't we? We like that as well. Oyster sauce, soy sauce, and some parsley. But you can use other herbs as well, eh? it doesn't matter. So, first thing we start with is the potatoes, okay? Now, all we do with the potatoes, just peel them like we usually do. And for sure this recipe is going to get everybody wanting to try it. Okay. Then we just cut it, slice it okay. Cut a little bit off. Then we can hold it, okay? Easy to hold. Then we cut the thin slices, just like that. Not too thick, not too thin, okay? Some of them might go a bit too thin, but it's not really important. But make sure they're not too thick. Okay, almost there. Remember, always be careful with your fingers. We don't want fingers in the recipe. Then, that's it, one potato slice, okay? Then we continue like that. And once all the potatoes are sliced, by the way, maybe 100 grams, one kilo, okay? Once all the potatoes are sliced, we cover it with water, okay? And we rinse it till all the starch comes out. Then when it's cooking later, it'll go like a golden color. So I'll continue with the potatoes. Okay, that's everything chopped, you see? Very small very s for the garlic, very small for the onion, and little chunks for the eggplant. Hello. Now what we're going to do, fry the grounded meat just until it's enough cooked. And then once the meat's cooked, we add all this together, okay? Remember, that's your grounded pepper, oyster sauce, soy sauce and parsley. All that goes in together. Then once all that's cooking together, after maybe 10-15 minutes, we'll add this, the tomato, okay? Tomato sauce. Not ketchup, tomato sauce. Okay, I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Okay then, that's how it looks now. All the ingredients are cooked, okay? Not too much liquid, liquid. There's your potatoes, they're all cooked. And we've got some oil in here, okay? This, the oil, once I've done the, show you how to do it, okay, to prepare, you just put a little bit of oil on each leaf, you'll find out it's going to look yummy, yummy, yummy. The super masara pool de classes. You're going to surprise all your friends and family with this one. Okay, I'll show you how to start it then. Get your bolognese, okay? Fill the bowl. Da -da -da. Don't worry if there's any left, there's always other recipes with leftovers. Pizza, that's a good recipe, isn't it? Get it all spread out, nice and even. Squeeze it in there. Yeah, this is good for having your cheese and dishes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Maybe another one or two spoons. Okay, now with that, is that what you do? Next step, you get your potatoes, okay? Oops, I'm all chopped up. Get your potatoes, and we just go around the edge with them, okay? Dip them in, okay? 
just keep going around and around like that, okay? Squeeze them in, don't worry. They're not too cooked and they're not overcooked, okay? If they're overcooked, they're going to break. So we try to keep them not too much cooked. There we are, they're all squeezing in nicely, aren't they? Eh? So, let me spread them out a little bit like that, so it's more like a flower. Okay, but don't worry, it'll go like that and even normally. So what you do is you keep continuing like that, and after every line, put a little bit of oil on the leaves. Okay, not too much. It's just so that in the oven, it'll all go golden and crispy. And the inside of the potato at the bottom, that'll stay nice and soft for you. Okay, I'll continue like that and show you how it looks at the end, okay? Okay, there you are. That's the first one prepared, okay? If you look from the top, it'll look like a flower. Like a big bowl of clack, like a rose. Okay, that one's all ready for the oven now. So, I'll go and make another one because we've still got lots there. And then I'll cook it, put it in the oven, then I'll show you how it looks after, okay? Yeah. Here it is, almost finished. We've added the parcel, we've added some grated cheese. I put parmesan, but you can use any kind of cheese you want, okay? But you don't even need to use cheese, it's human without it. So it's all ready to go in the oven. I'll just put it there now, and then I'll show you a quickie how it looks after cooked. Be right back. Okay, everybody, maybe you can hear the cats that are asking for it. Can you hear them? There she is down there, look. Anyway, it's all done. The flowers, I don't know what you're going to call these, maybe potato flowers, maybe? Wouldn't that be human eating potato flowers? Well, there it is. Bring your forks and help yourself. Eat all you can. See you in my next recipe. Thank you for watching Squid's Kitchen. Happy New Year! Oi! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year!